house and the fix-it chick. And if you're like me, you might have had an older sister growing up. Who might have liked to torture you? And that older sister taught you that if you put your finger in the socket of a lamp when the light bulb's missing and turn on the power, you'll get a cool, tingly feeling all through your body. And it's fun. And if you're like me, you'll know that cool, tingly feeling. It's called electrocution. And you lay on the floor with your body convulsing while she stares and laughs at you. But today, I'm here to show you the simple and easy way to work with electricity, the safe way, so you don't die. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first step to safety of working with electricity so your hair doesn't go up in smoke is go to your main electrical panel of your house and turn off the main circuit breaker. The tools you'll need today are a flathead screwdriver, a pair of linesman pliers, an electrical tester to confirm that the electricity is in fact off, a dimmer switch, and an outlet with a USB charging port. Okay, we're gonna tackle two things today. The first is turning a single pull switch into a dimmer, and the second is taking out this outlet and turning it into an outlet with a USB charger port. So the first step, you just wanna take off the light switch plate, and then we're gonna take our voltage tester and write down the size of the light switch. With our tester, green means go. If it was red, that means there's still electricity. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna take the light switch out and you'll notice a screw on either side. We're gonna loosen that up and then we're gonna take the wire out from behind there. Okay, so we're just taking the wires off and then when we replace it with our new light switch, you just wanna make sure you're getting the right one, whether it's fluorescent, incandescent, or LED and it'll specify on the box. And now we're gonna install the new dimmer switch. Okay, the first step is to connect the ground wires. The ground wire in the wall is usually bare or green. So we're gonna take our pliers, put the wires together, and then twist them. Okay, they're twisted, and then you just take the cap and put that right on. Okay, we're just gonna unscrew these screws a little bit, and then we're going to attach the power and the switch leg right around the screws, just like we did the last time when we undid them. Great. To prevent a short or a shock, we're gonna wrap the live parts of the switch with electrical tape. And you wanna make sure you go around where those screws and the wires are, and you're gonna wrap it around twice. Okay, we put the switch back in the wall, and the cover plate is on. We turned on the main power, fingers crossed. Ooh, we have light. Okay, our second job is to take this outlet and turn it into a USB charger port. So I've taken the outlet out of the wall and I'm gonna take the tape off. And there's those famous screws and we're just gonna unscrew them and remove the power. Okay, the first step is to put the ground wire around the green screw. And then you'll have two white wires and two black wires. The two white wires go behind the silver screw in these two holes, and the two black wires go behind the gold screw. And now we're going to put the white wires in behind the silver screw. And then just screw it in. And the black wires go behind the gold screw and screw it in. Now that we've installed the outlet and put on the cover plate, we're ready to charge our phone. Great. All right, that's it. We've successfully changed a dimmer switch and an outlet. Be sure to follow all manufacturer's instructions that are inside every box. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a video on something in particular, be sure to reach out to me on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter at The Fix-It Chick. And remember, you can do it yourself.